Hi, this is Harimon Vashne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to work on uh, thermal contact. So, in this, uh, uh, like it, this is a set of electrical electrical things. So, here uh, this is arm and uh, some gap is there, and this is base. So, when this is coming in contact with this base, then uh, that. Uh, heat is flowing from arm to base so here this uh, contact uh, the contacts are modeled with a gap so we will use the contact pin wall control to simulate a closed contact configuration so what we have done here we have taken a steady state thermal standalone system and geometry we have imported here and double click on model so we are in this mechanical window so here what we are going to do first we will check units that is ok then like we are going to see geometry both the geometry is same material that is structural steel and uh, connection so we have to create a manual connection here insert then manual contact region we are going downside pin wall region we are going to create radius and here we are going to enter a pinball radius that is 0 0.25 okay so that we have done here now insert contact so you can see it is like bonded and uh, far open this is open we are not going to change anything right now and uh, we are going to apply boundary condition here so here we are going to insert heat flux that is flowing through this area apply and amount we have to enter here 0 0.5 watt per mm square okay and downside here we are going to insert temperature and that is we are going to keep 30 degree okay then here we are going to insert convection this we are not selecting because from here that heat flux uh, we have applied here so apply film coefficient we are entering here and ambient temperature 30 degree now insert convection here we are going to select these faces ok then apply film coefficient here we are entering 4 E minus 4 ambient temperature 30 degrees now solve here we are going to put all the three here and evaluate all results so 
so here this sheet it is coming minus 1.0102 e ki power minus 10 watt and reaction probe this is coming 20 watt and this is coming 4.3271 e ki power minus 10 watt so here we can see heat flux we have applied 0 0.5 watt per mm square and the area of uh, the face is 40 mm square so here 40 multiply by 0.5 it, it will be 20 watt so insert thermal temperature evaluate so here you can see heat is flowing from here but it is not transferring to this base because of this geometric gap so next what we will do we will model a condition where the contacts are closed so we are going to this here we what we will do we will duplicate closed contact and double click on model so here what we have done in contact connection here we are going to increase the pin wall radius to 1 ok now go to contact tools generate initial contact results So now you can see it has been closed. Okay, now solve. So this has been solved. So now you can see that it is transferring heat from here to this base. My minimum temperature is 30. And if we see this uh, reaction probes, so this is 2.3312 this heat is due to temperature which we have applied through this and this one is convection 10.587 and this is convection to 7.0816 so if we add these three heats it will be 20 watts So like uh, there may be some little bit difference that will be due to mass uh, difference. Okay.